Hi team, Ginger here. I wanted to give you a little sneak peek at the new habit that's coming your way. I'm not sure if you know what's coming, but if you don't know what's coming, I wanted to make sure you knew ahead of time because when I found out this habit was coming when I was in my first year of the program, my jaw dropped and it kind of stopped me in my tracks. Um, namely because I knew it was something that was really in my way for weight loss, for being a better parent, a better wife, and being feeling more in control with my reactions to stress. Um, so I wasn't looking forward to this at all. I was really kind of surprised, but, it, but I wasn't surprised. So this habit forced me, I've got some props here, to address my relationship with wine. Does that ring a bell with any of you? Perhaps your relationship is with liquor, bourbon, or perhaps it's beer. The awesome thing is, I'm full of props today, um, but the even more awesome thing is that these things can all be in my house and I'm not drinking them on a daily basis like I was when I first approached this habit. So um, this habit for me, the habit's going to be no calorie beverages, so it means that you try for two weeks to limit your no your beverages to not having any calories. Okay, so this is, if you remember that habit we did where you recorded everything you ate, this is not something that we expect you to do every day of your life for the rest of your life. That's no fun, and that's not what PM is about. Um, this is a stretch habit, all right? This is something for you to just try for two weeks. Now, if you know, if, if you're like breaking out in a cold sweat right now and you know that this is something you absolutely cannot fathom, especially around alcohol, you need to reach out to your coach, okay? Um, now, maybe you're on the other end of the spectrum and you are simply thinking, I don't drink alcohol, Maybe you get up and you have a herbal tea every morning and you, you, you drink water throughout the day and this is not a habit that is just, that even resonates with you in any way. Um, maybe you're Mormon, right? I have a girlfriend who does not drink coffee, she can't handle caffeine and she doesn't drink any alcohol. This habit was like, it was just fell on deaf ears with her. If that's you, then your challenge is to think back to all the habits we've done thus far. Which one do you need to practice the most? Okay, so that is always an option. But right now I'm gonna to speak to those of you who, um, who are gonna work this habit and see what happens. Now for me, it changed my life. I was drinking alcohol at least five days a week, sometimes six, usually, on a good night, just one glass. On an average night, two. On the weekends, three to four a night. Um, I will tell you, now I'm a small person, I have a petite frame, but when I addressed this habit at the end of my two week period of not having any alcohol for two weeks, I had lost three or four pounds. Those pounds, for the most part, over the next few months stayed gone. Now I've, I've not ever gone back to that weight that I was at that point. Um, but I'm further on beyond that because of another habit later on that I tried. But so I encourage you just to see if it's in your way. Now, how do you make this work for you? So I'm going to give you a little personal experience. My, um, my approach for this habit was I can do this. I've not had alcohol before. I think the longest I had gone was maybe 16 days without alcohol that I consciously tried, um, now I could, I could go months. Um, but at that point, 16 days was the longest that I could remember have, making a conscious effort trying. And I knew that I could do 14. So on day one, I got up and I was like, this is gonna be, I can do this. And poured my cup of coffee, went and got my half and half and went, oh shit, this is a new calorie. I can't put half and half in my coffee. So I actually did black coffee for five days and then I, I couldn't, I, I just thought I cannot not do alcohol 
and restrict this. It was really making me a very unhappy person. So what I did was I thought, well, how can I make that cream habit a little bit better? I, I, I know I can make the 14 days without alcohol, so I switched my whole, my half and half to whole milk. So for the next year of Precision Nutrition, I did whole milk in my coffee. It was awesome. This year, I decided I'm going black. And guess what? Black is where I've stayed. And then I went through another plateau. I broke through another plateau by trying that stretch habit this time around because the alcohol for two weeks was not an issue for me. That was now a piece of cake. So now I was ready to try in year two this habit on a different continuum. See how brilliant that is? Now, another option for you is let's say you already do 2% milk in your coffee and you want to try black um, or you want to you want to try black for your morning coffee but you still want to treat in the afternoon. Here's another awesome product that I recently have started using um, in the afternoon. It's, I don't know, I'm really bad at pronouncing things. I think it's Khalifa. They have it at Whole Foods and they have it at, uh, I picked this up at Target. It's coconut almond milk. So I warm this up in the microwave and then froth it up in to like a little cappuccino and then pour it in a cup of decaf in the afternoon for my afternoon treat. I do it like two times a week. But the ingredients, oh my, I don't have my reading glasses and I am unable, I will zoom in. You can see, I'm sure it's backwards. Um, I can't read that without reading glasses. So anyway, um, Think about how you're gonna help this work for you over these next two weeks. Reach out to your coach if you need a little more personalized support. We're here for you. We've walked this path. We've faced our own struggles and we've come out on the other side and we wanna help you. All right, this is your journey. We just wanna be your guide. Have a great weekend.